So the aliens will need the same elements as us. Now, why do I say that? Because you, you get the argument that says, oh, we don't know, they could, they could live under the sea, or we've, we've got evidence of creatures living under the sea, microbes, etc. Well, this gets back to this statement I made earlier. We're not talking about microbes. We're talking about evolved beings that we can communicate with. And the laws of physics are the same throughout the universe. So we know that they would need at least the majority of the elements, the 92 elements that we need. They may look place and listen, but also to send out radio signals. But SETI was hoping to receive a signal from outer space, from alien intelligent life, and prove that life was out there. And when you consider the, uh, the amount, the cacophony of noise that uh, we have uh, that, uh, emanating from our own planet, from all the radio signals, all the telephone signals, everything, you know, you think we should be able to pick something up. Surely. Well, no. Thank you for taking the time to look at what I can offer your guests. My talks cover everything from a journey through the solar system, the history of the universe from beginning to end in 45 minutes, to Viking, Aboriginal and Inuit astronomy. I'll cover aliens, black holes and the life of stars, and even historical astronomy and astrophysics. If you need a specific astronomy talk, that's no problem. I can provide an aurora watch and stargazing nights on deck, and I'll even bring moon and Mars rocks for your guests to hold. All my talks are informative, entertaining and humorous, and I'm able to tailor talks to your requirements and destinations. I look forward to enhancing your guest experience on board soon.